it looks too loud in the background. But today, we're going to be making lasagna soup. I want to record from TikTok, but I feel like they be too much for me sometimes. And y'all know I don't eat meat. So... Normally I do like my impossible meat. Like my savory impossible meat. I went to two stores and they didn't have it. So this is what we're using today. Hopefully it's good. Cause I asked the little man. Hold on. I asked the little man when I was there, did they have any? But they didn't have any. So, yo. So today we're gonna be making lasagna soup. And I normally don't <laughs> stick to the recipes, but I think this is one recipe I'm going to be sticking to. So, I'm just getting everything out. I really should have bought. Okay, I got everything out, but let me get it situated. Y'all gonna see me work out here. So, we got our lean. We got our bell cooker. And y'all know I don't even use the bell peppers, but I don't mind cooking with them, so I'm coming around. I'm coming around. Bell pepper, let me move my cake. And then I need to pull up the recipe. Take a little quick peek right quick. And then I got some fresh parsley. And I was kind of iffy. I didn't know if I wanted to get some basil. I got some fresh parsley. So yeah, let me take a little picture right quick. Sit up right. Okay. Then we got our parsley, we got our garlic, then we got our tomato paste. Bam! I need a quick little pick for IG. And possibly the th thumbnail. I knew I had broke my glass. Lord. Let me take that out. Slide you in. So this the peak. I'm gonna show y'all. So we're finna get into it. All right. So the lasagna, marinara, vegetable broth, impossible beef, parsley, minced garlic, ricotta cheese, tomato paste, onions, bell peppers, Italian blend of cheese, Parmesan cheese, and heavy whipping cream. So we're gonna start by cooking the meat. Get me, get me, get me. No. Actually, I don't know which one you cook first. Cause I'm trying to stick to the recipe. Cause you know, you gotta cook the 
the meat as well as the bell pepper and onions. So we're gonna go off instincts and we're just gonna cook the meat first. Y'all, I never had the impossible beef. So I had to take a little sniff. Okay. In the pan. Oh, this is cooking. I'm gonna turn it down. Let that cook. While that's cooking, we're gonna start cutting up our bell pepper. So I think I'm gonna do that right here with y'all. And I'm gonna use my smaller bell pepper on me. Okay, we're gonna take them seeds up. And then meat really be cooking fast. Oh, hold on. And then I said, ooh, too hot. Too hot. I turned it down and it's still like sticking a little bit. I constantly turn it. Okay, I'm finna cut up the bell pepper for y'all. Put them in my bowl. I be trying to cut them more. How don't people be cutting them up on the TikTok? But they make it go around and so. Like, they cut it like this and then dig out the little holes. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know what I'm saying. I think that's enough because I already don't eat onions or bell peppers. So, yeah, this is what we got. Okay? Now we're going to cut up the onion. And they say leave the root on so you won't be crying. It should be so easy for me to pull out the camera, which I really could have did on TikTok too, but I don't know. I be easy. It just take me a long time to edit TikTok videos. Not even like the process long, but it ain't gonna get done until like a month later. Man. I'm not gonna edit the video until a month later. Take me a little longer. Cause I don't be wanting to eat it sometimes. When they say the root. Um I guess this the root. I don't know. I'ma just put it. I gotta at least look like I'm grown a little bit just because I eat onions and bell peppers. Okay. Is these big? They really is. I feel like that's good. I get them seeds, them bell pepper seeds off. I ain't trying to eat them. 
I got to feel like that's another onion and bell pepper. Okay. While they doing what they do, I'm going to put them in there. I'm going to come back to y'all. Okay, so I put them in there. But I think they need to like cook down. Hold on. I'm gonna move y'all back up now and we're gonna clean our station. Okay. Okay, now since they're doing what they do, I need to pull up the recipe. And it didn't have no, um, no grease or nothing, so I didn't have to drain it, you know. But I am about to go ahead and season the meat. Oh, that wasn't even supposed to go in there. Okay, that wasn't supposed to go in there. So we're gonna start on our other pot. That's why I should have pulled it up in the first place. Cause that meat, that wasn't even supposed to, I mean no bell peppers and onions weren't even supposed to go in them. Yeah, this smell real good. I'ma season that too. Okay, in the meantime, we're gonna clean up our workstation. Bell pepper and onion really should have been sauteed, dude. I don't know what I thought I was doing when I put them in there. <laughs> like, okay, they'll get sauteed in here too. That's not how that works. Okay. Go ahead and grab my seasons. Let me see, cause I moved that camera down. Okay, we got our bell pepper, not no bell pepper. Season all, black pepper, onion powder, um, garlic powder. We're gonna do paprika. And I think it's it. Cause if I wanna add a little spice, I'll add that later. It'll be like the Cajun or fluffy moment. I made this wrong already. Like my my onions are built up and ain't gonna get the chance to saute. They're gonna be real fresh. I gotta cook them down some more. But it smells good. It smells like what what it is when you go um fill the cheese steak. That's what it smells like. Okay. That's y'all right here. We just finna season up the bad boy. Okay. Really don't need no paprika, but whatever. Throw in that onion powder. Throw in that garlic powder. Okay, okay I really gotta take this out of here because it's starting to stick. Oh, look out there. Making a mess. Okay. So this is how this is looking. That's the best I could do. See, they were supposed to be sauteed and I didn't saute them. So this is just gonna have to work. Okay, 
now I'm gonna move y'all back over here. And we're gonna get started in this pot. Okay, let's see how many. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. Sorry for that commotion. Marinara sauce, which it says twenty-four ounce of marinara. So this this whole thing. God damn. Oh. All right, we got the marinara open. And it says the whole thing. Okay, so after that, we're gonna bring this to a bowl and then we're gonna pour in our noodles. Let me put in our noodles. So while that's doing it. So what is happening with the cream coming in? The recipe I pulled up, not even using heavy whipping cream. So let me go to the recipe I found yesterday. Gotta get them flavors out. Yep, that was a little too much. Okay, we're gonna put all of this up. Get it out of the way. We gotta clean our station. Put my bell pepper and onion up. 
This really was not how this was supposed to be cooked, but it's okay. Okay, that's coming to a ball. Yeah. That's it right there. Let me see what else you talking about. Tomatoes and tomato sauce. Get the pot with some chicken broth. Now we're going to season it up with some black pepper. Sprinkle in some oregano. Then we're going to hit it with some onion powder. And just a pinch of red pepper flakes. Mix in all that seasoning. Then we're going to hit it with some heavy cream. Then you're going to grab your lasagna noodles. I got to put in my heavy cream. He said pepper flakes. Can't forget those. Okay, yeah, because that's probably what's OD. Okay. Then he said the heavy whipping cream. Break those up and add them in. Let the okay. We're just going to use all of that bad boy. I feel like this is so impulsive for me. All right, we got that in. Pot simmer for a little bit into a bowl, adding some ricotta, parmesan, and mozzarella. Okay. We're not there yet. I really shouldn't have added all that sauce in there. But it's cool because I know it's going to soak it up. The noodles. So this is how we looking. Now we finna add in our noodles. They said breaking force. Oh, that was hot. We're making a mess. Let me see how many noodles he said put in that bag. And red pepper flakes. Mix in all that seasoning, then we're gonna hit it with some heavy cream. You're gonna grab your lasagna noodles, break those up and add them in. Let the pot simmer for a little bit into a bowl, add in some ricotta. I still dropped it. Okay, I think that's enough noodles for right now. Okay. While that's doing what it's do. We're gonna clean up. And I gotta see how long the boil it. Time, but I know when the noodles doing. Okay. We're gonna cover that up, let that cook. I think that's enough noodles for right now. So while that's doing what it's do, I'm gonna do the dishes and I'll be back. I'm back. I'm finna check my noodles. I did have to turn it down because it got a little outrageous. I'm not scared to open it. Yeah, it's still popping crazy. And it's on doggone. I gotta turn it off. Take that off. It's on doggone two. Well, really on like three. Popping, popping. I think I want to add some more noodles. Cause I need, I'm gonna turn this one on. And I am gonna add some more noodles. I'm 
Nu mai lai tu. I feel like it's the perfect consistency right now, so I'm not going to add any more liquid. But I did add some more um, I did add some more noodles. So the only thing I'm waiting on right now is for those to finish cooking. So they're going to do what it's do. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and mix up the stuff for the ricotta. So we have our bowl. I meant to buy some basil. So I don't have any fresh basil. That's okay. We got fresh parsley. We got dried basil. So we're just gonna make it do what it do. It's already jumping out the thing. So we're just gonna add some ricotta to a bowl. I feel like why am I beating on this leg? That's enough to start with. We got our Italian cheeses, as I mentioned earlier. I want more mozzarella than, I mean more parmesan than anything. That did not work. Okay. I'm going to add in our basil. Give me a second. I'm going to cut up the parsley and I bake. And it turns out I don't have any basil. Better diet will be baked. So I did go ahead and do whatever needed to be done to the ricotta. Just gonna stir that up. And I put some of that fresh parsley in there. I wish I had some basil. I should've just went ahead and brought some. I could use some more. Yeah, I'm going to make some more. BRB. So I'm just waiting on the noodles to get done. I did the ricotta and everything else. So we're just waiting on the noodles since I added the extra ones. And then I got me some garlic toast. It's going to go in the oven halfway. So I'm going to come back and check in with y'all later. I look crazy. All right, bread is done. Yeah, y'all heard that crunch. We got our bowl. We got our soup. I got lasagna soup. It smells real good. Okay. Oh, that's kidding me. <laughs> Y'all seen that? <laughs> got me jumping and stuff. I do think I want it to be more liquid. I keep adding more chicken broth. I mean, not chicken broth, vegetable broth. Mm. This gonna be deep because I'm finna pour it in the bowl. Okay, I feel like that was good. Because I want it to give soup and not like a Thick consistency. I feel like they hit it right there. We're gonna turn it off. It be me stirring. All right, we got our bowl. Let me see. I don't think I got like a big scooper. This gonna have to do. I'm gonna move y'all down. Okay, 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 this bad boy, hi. Ooh, I 
Let me see what y'all doing. Okay. I feel like that's a good enough serving. And we're just gonna let that cool down. We're gonna scoop in our ricotta. A little dollop of daisy. Okay. I think that's good. And then this really a big bowl. Let me shake that up a little bit for y'all. I think that's good. And then we're gonna add in a little on the side. Bam. Okay. Okay, KK. This is how we're looking. Yeah, okay. Let me get some content for IG and I'm gonna be back for a taste test for y'all. Alright, so we're gonna do a taste test. Let me clean my glasses. Too much going on. I got me some good content for Instagram. Hey, Amen. Oh, it's hot. Ooh. Gotta get a little dollop of a little scoop of everything. Mm. I think I might prefer this over regular lasagna. That's good. Flavors to my dream. And I honestly somebody go put some old ricotta up there. The ricotta he need send it off. Mm. all right guys i don't know if this is gonna be like a video just by itself it probably will be like this a cook with me for vlogmas but yeah we'll see if it is thank y'all for tuning in to my cook with, cook with me for another day of vlogmas i hope y'all are enjoying my vlogmas content you know y'all can come in show some love down below Make sure y'all like and subscribe as well. We're still trying to get 500. Y'all help us stay out. But yeah, this food is 10 out of 10. I really think I prefer lasagna soup over lasagna. But yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. And I'll see y'all next time. What What's the deal with me in these faces? I don't know. And it's always the peace sign, girl. Whatever. Bye, y'all.